Hey everybody, and welcome to part two of my Timex M25 video. So, yeah, I removed the bottom pivot, which you'll see in a minute. I'm going with the anchor here. Then trying to get the escape wheel in. Uh, this movement holder really helps a lot. Uh, if you didn't see my one where I struggle for an hour, like that was like a whole day. So this is actually way better, enough that I can film it and show you all. So third wheel, second wheel, and here comes that second like steak thingamadoodle. It's kind of, oh shoot. All right, a few minutes there and it goes through, all lined up. So uh, I'm about to put my thumb over this part on the right, that little square portion, that lines up with the keyless works and that really helps everything sort of like set into place. The only thing I had to do here was uh, work on the bounce wheel, but everything else set in. It was a lot better this time around. Yeah, I just kind of worried it there. After that, yeah, this one screw is the one that I took out last time. It keeps everything in place. And just take all that off and flip it over. And see, that's the pivot I was talking about. It goes in neatly. This is the part that was really secret about getting everything back together neatly. And here's the little spring for the date wheel. It kind of slides in there. It takes another one of the screws for the second of the three screws that you'll use. And I'm gonna go ahead and grease up the crown wheel. And it's a little difficult to get that uh, click spring in place. So I used a bit of peg wood here and stuck it so that would stay. And yeah, everything kind of just slid into place after that. Ta-da! Much easier. And so, yeah, that retainer ring goes in place and just spins around, snaps in, easy breezy. So I greased up this bridge for the keyless works and the uh, date setting or time setting function. That's how it's staying together here. Uh, and I tried to use the wrong screw on this for a bit, but nope, this takes the third of the screws and that's the last screw that keeps this movement together. And so I'm trying to pull a little bit of power in the mainspring. Feels good, feels good this time around. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure why the balance wheel isn't moving yet. It's free. It moves occasionally, but I'm thinking maybe I'll just grease everything up, oil everything, see what happens. Uh, it's not moved yet really too much, but I figure I'll go ahead and put these wheels for the movement works in. Yeah, there it goes. That part for the minute wheel, and that just sort of slides under that bridge. Put that in back first, so there you go. Then went ahead and put the minute wheel in place. Sort of slot it in there. There you go. Everything should be nice and secure. Then, yeah, this is the day wheel. It slides right underneath. There's a little stake there. This is me checking, make sure everything's good and secure. Yeah, happy with that. Uh, so there goes the dial washer. And here is the date wheel. So if you look at the top, there's a little bit of brass or bronze. That sets in the indentations and the wheel itself just sort of sets on those four posts around the edges there. Two at the top are gold color, two at the bottom are silver color. There you go. And here's the dial. Cleaned it up a little bit, but it was looking nice to begin with. He's a little bit putty. Just set it in place. And it's almost lined up. Guys, my other hand. There we go. And I use a screwdriver to push those clips back in to secure it. There we go. And the third one. So yeah, I'm still not sure why it's not running. It was running a little bit beforehand. It just seemed to need a service. Uh, putting some more power into it. Not really doing anything. I didn't wind it all the way, but I wound it about halfway. And yeah, see, it'll, it can run for a second. Not, 
If I touch the anchor, it'll move like for a while. Yeah, I'm not sure. So anyway, might as well just put it back together. I'm a little defeated, but you know what? It looks nice. Just want to complete this little project and move on to a new one for now. And there's the bit that keeps the stem in place. Just get that screw in there. And yep, just secure that. And oh yeah, this is my favorite part because I've never done one of these with a day window before. I'm turning it and turning it. You can see the middle like hour and minute wheel moving there. But here it comes. Oh. I saw movement. There it is. All the way. And boom. Perfect. Ideal. So pull out the stem, put it in place. I uh, also put the hands on. Uh, I didn't get a good shot of that. The tool was just in the way of the camera the whole time. And yeah, assemblies are versus disassembly. Sort of get that stem in there. Get everything in alignment. There we go. Nice. Just like that. And yeah, here it's like, it's trying to move. It's so close. But anyway, put the retaining ring on. Get that snap back into place. Oh, I didn't show up. I also replaced the uh, O-ring on there. And I figured I'd just set the time. And while I was doing that, oh, look what happened. Look at that second hand. Yeah, um, it started working. Anyway, that was it. Surprising fix at the end, but thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you for the next one. All right, bye.